This is the first opening of 2023. I'm super excited. It's been a while. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully y'all are having an absolutely wonderful start to the new year. Um, this is the first opening I'm doing since 2022. So it's been five, six days. So my fingers have been aching. To start off the new year, I kind of wanted to do a quick recap for people, right? What was the best Pokemon product of 2022? So I put up a poll and 550 of you voted. And the options I gave were the Charizard UPC, the Evolution Premium Collection Boxes, RC's UPC, Dialga, Palkia, Deoxys Premium Collection Boxes, and of course another option just said other. Um, and then y'all voted and it was kind of close, but 40% of y'all voted for the Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, VMAX Ultra Premium Collection Boxes. I thought it would be the Charizard UPC. So, yeah. 34% of y'all voted for the Charizard UPC, 7% for Arceus, 2% for Dialga Palkia, 18% of other. Now, some people were giving me some other options here. Some of the options, which I thought I think were great shouts, are the heavy hitter boxes from Sam's Club. Some of y'all said V-Star Universe. I kind of meant like product, but in terms of the set, absolutely number one for me as well. Some people said um, the Evolving Skies reprint. You're obviously trolling me. I will take it. And then RCS V figure boxes with the Cosmic Eclipse packs in there. Absolutely good shout as well. But those are kind of the other ones. Heavy hitter premium collection box. I think definitely should go up there. But unanimously from, not unanimously, but 40% of y'all voted for these boxes. So what I'm gonna do is, Open these three boxes to start the new year, hoping for Rayquaza in these six Evolving Skies packs. I think you get two per box. So let's rip these boxes open and see what's inside. First and foremost, the Vaporeon box. You get two Alt Arts, regular V, a V Max, the Jolteon, same thing, an Alt Art and a V Max. Um, that Jolteon V looks horribly off center, by the way. And the Flareon V, you get the V and the V Max Alt Art. So these are Guaranteed alt art evolutions in here, which is probably why y'all voted this as the best product of 2022. I get it. Let me say what I voted for though. I voted for the Charizard UPC because, in my opinion, 120 bucks is kind of a lot, but I really think Pokemon nailed it with the Charizard UPC in terms of the price point. Obviously, with people even selling it for lower if you look on online shops, because Everyone was so crazy about it. We're like, oh, I'm not gonna get this. I'm gonna have to pay 250 bucks for it, 300 bucks for it. But they printed it to oblivion, which I think is great for obviously the consumer so that everyone, if they wanted it, they really could get it. And you get those crazy, amazing looking promos and 17 packs on top of that. So I voted for the Charger UPC. It's great for the people who wanted the box, was able to get it because it was so available. Um, obviously, if you were scalping it, you bought like 50 of them, probably didn't have a great experience. But yeah, so Vaporeon, uh, Jolteon, and Flareon, let me know down below in the comments which one is y'all's favorite. And I think I said this before, I don't know if I did. I really like Flareon, it just looks really cool, the VMAX card, just my personal take. In total, three Fusion Strikes, six Evolving Cries, let's go. Three Chilling Pleasures, uh, three Base Set Sword and Shield, and three base set Rebel Clash. Not base set, three Rebel Clash. I just, just whatever. But we're gonna go into Rebel Clash first. Why? Because I have no idea what's in Rebel Clash. Ooh, it's been a minute since I've opened packs. Let's go. Rebel Clash, what am I expecting from here? No clue. Impidimp, Shinx, Sandy Gast, Roly Coley, Boss's Orders. Not the one I want though. I think Boss's Orders is the super nice one, is the one you want in Rebel Clash. And Cramorant. Great way to start the year. Rebel Clash again. There is a Toxtricity, I think, on the front cover of this. So that's cool. That's very cool. But we're gonna go in and hopefully hope and, you know, bring that New Year luck into getting something absolutely crazy. Litwick, my goodness gracious, these packs are super warped. Seismitoad. Cool. Next pack of Rebel Clash, this is pack number three. Um, I do want to address something. Uh, someone told me like, why do I have to be so sarcastic when there's bad packs and stuff like that? I, I responded and I was like, well, and they also said I'm one of the saddest pack openers out there. So there's basically like two options here for me to respond. I'm either, I could either basically pretend to be super happy about the packs I get, even if it's garbage, and I'm a horrible actor, so I can't do that. Or I can, be slightly sarcastic 
and slightly jokey about it, even though I obviously don't like it, and kind of just move on from there. So either fake it that like a crap pack is good or be slightly sarcastic and kind of just slightly joke about it. I think I have to pick number two just because it's kind of who I am. But that's just kind of quickly addressing that. Anyways, Arokuda, hopefully y'all understand. That's just kind of how I am as a person. Apologies if it's not what you guys like. Arakuda, Glarian Meowth, Magikarp, NDD, and Cramorant again. Amazing. See what I mean? I just, it's just who I am. Okay, now we're going to base set Sword and Shield, okay? So I don't know what is inside base set Sword and Shield um, because I think I've opened like a couple of packs from here, but I, I don't think there's alt arts in here, so not sure what to expect. Stunfisk, Thievil, but I know that's not good. Um, can we get a V? I'm assuming there's a cool Lapras in here because he's on the front cover. So let's get Lapras. That's uh, that's how we should do this. Yeah, Lapras. Let's go. Ghastly, Roselia, Ponyard, Sildla. Yep, Thwacky, Dreadnaw. Oh, okay. Well, this pack opening is going so good. We've packed almost nothing at all, which is good. It's a good way to start the year off. Can base that Sword and Shield? End off well. Maractus, Mudbray, Score Bunny. That's sarcasm aside. Pretty cool looking art. No, jo jokes aside. Silicobra. <laughs> well, that uh, Rebel Clash and Sword and Shield really sucked. So we're gonna hope that Fusion Pain can bring some pleasure. Let's go. Fusion Pain, let's go. Okay, Makuhita. If y'all know, you know. I have had horrible luck with Fusion Strike. That can change today, ladies and gentlemen. And I think it will. Not bad. Tyrantor V, that's, I'll, I'll take that. That is actually the first V card of today's opening so far, and that's uh, depressing. So we're gonna hopefully get some better stuff. Totodile, Phantom, Snorlax, actually really cool art. Pan poor. Silver borders. What the heck? Fusion strike. Can you change the luck for the new year? <sighs> I think I opened like 80 or 90 plus fusion strike packs, and the best card I got was a Hoopa V full art at that time, too. Which is why. Just kind of disappointed when I saw Silver Borders. It's okay. Not bad, but once again, this card is horribly off-center though. Actually, the back doesn't look bad. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's pretty bad, okay. Man, New Year's, same me, it feels great. So we're, we're, uh, we're, we're Hoopa V is our best card so far, and Tyranitar V all coming from Fusion Strike, which in itself is crazy to think about. So Impa Dimp again, Snom, Corviknight, and Okay. All right, second to last set here. Chilling pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, and we know that only good th good stuff comes from chilling pleasure. Um, for for you know for the channel, hopefully. But let's 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 just continue this luck. Chilling pleasure for the win. Score bunny, Diglett, welcoming lantern. Earn a vitality. See, I mean, I know I dog on gold cards a lot. But because it's from Chilling Pleasure, I will take it. But to be fair, um, I do not like gold item cards. They do kind of annoy me. Still nice though. See, all the best hit has come from Chilling Pleasure so far. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a good day. It is setting, it up, setting us up for super uber success going into Evolving Cries. That's what I feel. New Year, same me. But better pack luck. I'm just kind of speechless. I. What the, oh my god, okay. Well, um.
<laughs> oh, I just, honestly, I just, I just can't believe it. I was, um, it's like a secret rare and it's the same. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. It's fine. Um, chilling pleasure. <laughs> okay. Far fetched and something good, please. Okay, whatever. I just, I'm okay. That's crazy. I just can't believe it. And two evolving cries. I still can't get over the chilling rain. What the heck was that? Okay. Three packs, six packs. And can we start off the new year packing Ray Ray V Max? I think so, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm feeling some crazy stuff. I'm feeling amazing. I'm feeling lucky. Flabebe, Swablu, Litleo, Chinchow, Dino, Melotic, Rayquaza. Okay. And to all the people DMing me on Instagram, with pictures of you packing the Rayquaza VMAX. I appreciate it. Just shows you how much everyone else gets the card. But honestly, like people are like, I've been getting so many messages of Rayquaza VMAXs on my IG. I just, I just, if you make, it feels like you're in like an echo chamber of everyone got it but you. So I know it's not like that because it's a really hard packed card to pull for sure. Amolga, Sharpedo, Rayquaza. Well, from evolving cries, um, let's just let's just let's just hope for for a V card. Let's just uh, I'm gonna set my expectations super super low. So all I want, all I ask, is for a V card. Let's go. Hitmonchan, Slackoth, Petalil, Braviary, V card. Okay. Once again, we have three packs to go, and so far. No dice from Evolving Cries. It's all good though, because guess what? We're getting a V card in this pack right now. Dino, Pumpkaboo, Carvana, Fletchling, Flapple. V card. Okay, two packs left and uh, one V card will be cool. One V card, let's go. Let's go, I feel it in this pack. I feel, I feel good about this one. Scraggy. Hippopotus, Timpole, Litleo, Reggie Drago, V card. <sighs> what a way to end it. The last one has a picture of Rayquaza. Can we get a V card of Rayquaza? That's all I ask, or just a V card. Let's set my expectations once again. Super duper low, hollow, just a hollow. Let's, let's just go with hollow, cryogonal. Nikit, Zorua, Hollow. <gasps> not bad. Yo, that is actually really good. I did not expect that. So I'm a little lost words. Okay, so Leafeon V Full Art. I, I keep forgetting, like I'm actually missing so many of the Evolution Full Art cards that it just keeps on escaping my mind. I, I just can't, I, I keep forgetting about it. But my goodness gracious, that is horribly off-centered. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in total, we've opened quite a lot of packs. I think 18 packs in total to start the new year. And the best pull for me anyway was the Leafeon V Full Art. We got two urns of vitality from three packs of Chilling Rain. A Hoopa V Full Art, which is the best card I've ever packed from Fusion Strike twice now. And a Tyranitar V, so not bad. Hopefully y'all have had an amazing start to the new year as I've kind of said in the beginning. Um, I don't know where this channel is gonna go. I've enjoyed every step of the way, opening these packs, kind of experiencing everything with y'all. I do try to record everything I can, even weird stuff, like I said before. I don't know if you guys saw it, but on my shorts, I did open up like Silver Tempest packs and someone actually resealed them and put Fortnite packs in them, and one of the packs actually had all energy cards. I, uh, so there technically was Pokemon cards, I guess. But I do try to record everything for y'all so I can experience everything and share those experiences with you guys. Um, Cause that's kind of what it's all about for me and I think it's always fun. Um, hopefully this year, I really mean it. Uh, I want to pack that Rayquaza VMAX and kind of share that experience. I, I joke with someone, they message me, they're like, oh, I really hope you pack it. And I, I'll be real with you. I told them like, I think I'm gonna get a heart attack if I get that card, cause it just, it just does not exist in my life. But we'll hopefully see in the future. Uh, regardless, 
If you guys did enjoy, remember to like the video, comment down below which one was your favorite pull, and obviously let me know which one is your favorite VMAX card. For me, it's still Flareon. Um, but hopefully you did enjoy. Remember to turn on notifications as well so you guys always know when I do upload new videos. Thank you guys so much and have a great rest of your day. Don't know what to do, how to do it. Know that I should leave, but I hate it. Know that you're not, know that you're not the one.